So when you have just the classic titration done, you will have some data taken like this. So you'll measure the initial volume at the start, and at the start it also has a plus or minus 0.05. So it's if it, the increments are 0.1 mils going up and down in one point. 0.1 mils, the uncertainty will be half the smallest increment, so it'll be half of that, which is 0.05. Uh, and so that has an that has an error, and um, the final has an error as well. And so if you're uh, not in senior, you're still watching this in junior science, you may not want to worry about the uncertainties, but I'll just do that now. So the uncertainty will be two of those 0.5, so it's actually plus or minus 0.1. Our final answer, which I'll get to, I know I'm jumping a little bit, will be rounded off to the, so it's always just one sig fig, and you round up your final answer to the same number of decimal places as the sig fig, so the answer is not 12.22, it's just gonna be 12.2 plus or minus 0.1. All right, now just back to the normal. So what you do, when you do the titration is normally the first one is inaccurate and you do it quite quickly and it sort of over, you overstep the mark and add far too much titrant into it and it's often a lot worse than just 0.3 and so uh, it's you can see that these ones as they should be we call it in concord so they're all in agreement so they all should be within that range of plus or minus 0.05 uh, and so maybe you can take a 12.15 as well. But if you do this quite well and accurately, you should actually get the same result every single time. You can actually just work off two rather than three. Uh, so we'll, we'll always ignore that first one. So the final minus the initial, uh, that gives us 12.2, uh, 12.25, and then 12.2 here. And so you need to take the average. So you add the three up and divide it by three, and you get 12.22 as your answer. That's the amount of titrant used in order to neutralize, in this case, you'll see in the question after in the next slide. And um, as I said at the beginning, if you're in senior chem or maybe advanced junior, uh, you may need to worry about the uncertainties for that. And so titration stoichiometry is basically the same as uh, what I've done previously, I think for year 11 solution stoichiometry or junior science. Basically always, stoichiometry is always a three step process. You go from something to number of moles, use the mole ratio and then work back from your number of moles to something that you want. Because this is titration, we're doing liquid uh, solution stoichiometry both times. So C equals N on V variations uh, are going to be used. So here's our, our problem. So this is uh, working off the previous question. So what we were doing was having a standard solution. So we, we know the concentration of sodium hydroxide was 0.5 molar. We say we put 20 mils of HCl in there. And so what is the concentration of the HCl? So the formula is there, it's one is to one. The first step is working out the number of moles, therefore, of this that was in 12.2 in mils. So number of moles is concentration times volume. So sub those numbers in there and you'll get that the number of moles used for the neutralization is 0.0061. Now this one's a fairly easy uh, ratio conversion but I've still written it out because sometimes it's not so easy and you'll have maybe two equations if it's a really hard one and back titrations and all sorts of crazy stuff can happen so it's important that you do this step for communication and also not to stuff it up. So one is to one that's fine so if you've got 0.061 cross multiply so one times 0.0061 equals one times x so x equals that you could have known that um, I know because this is an easy one but just for when the hard ones do end up coming around so the number of moles of H HCl are the same, the number of moles in our H, 0.061. So the last one is, tell us what the final uh, concentration is. You put 20 mils, in, as took 20 mils as the analyte, so just divide it by 20 mils, and that's the answer. So the unknown concentration is 0.31 molar HCl.